In this episode, I'm going to try to give Electro Boom a little bit of a run for his money. What am I talking about? Let's jump into it and I'll explain. Welcome to this episode of Shop Talk by DIY3DTech.com. This episode, I want to share this guy with you. I picked it up off of, uh, I think, CSDL, something like that. I'll have the link down below if you're interested. What is it? Well, it is a magnetic radiation tester. What is an electromagnetic radiation tester? Well, basically, this measures uh, both electric field and also magnetic field, which I thought was very interesting. So it measures electric fields in volts per meter, which is the differential between two points at a meter. And I'll have more of that definition down below if you're interested. As well as it also reads in micro teslas. Teslas are the units in which magnetic fields are measured. So with that being said, um, I decided to kind of give it a little bit of a test. Now, what you do is you press and hold this button. It comes on. And I've already been playing around with this. What it, this is is actually a Tesla coil over here uh, and I've had it charged and it still has some uh, residual charge in it because of the capacitors uh, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn this on and we're going to see how this responds and as I increase the voltage over here as you can see the electric field increases now 2000 is the maximum so this is putting out a pretty big electro, uh, you know, uh, electrostatic field because of this coil and this up here, if I get my finger any closer, to probably R to it. But you also notice it's reading the Teslas from the coil. And it's kind of interesting to see some of the fluctuations, especially as I increase the power. Now notice also a drop. So this is kind of an interesting tool to kind of measure things like this. Now, you might be saying, Mr. DIY3DTech.com, what does this have to do with, you know, 3D printing, CNCs, lasers? Well, actually, it will have... Um, a pretty interesting role, but I'm not going to share that with you just yet. I just kind of want to introduce the unit because I thought this thing was pretty darn cool, and especially, you know, showing it against this and kind of watching its performance. But it, back to 3D printing and everything, so uh, I've got a couple ideas. I'm going to do a few episodes in the future, probably a month or so from now, when I get a little bit more time. But I did want to introduce this and kind of show you how it works with this. And just have a little bit of fun with this and so I thought this was pretty cool I think it was sub 20 bucks so um, I think it'd be really interesting for a couple uh, purpose-built applications well maybe not purpose-built but anyway some applications in this for testing the performance of different things so stay tuned for those um, because they will be coming up I've already designed a bracket you'll see a future video on that I'll do a little bit of a video on that and hey, Swag Shop's going to be up in the corner. Link to this down below. Subscribe's over there. If you have one of these, let me know in the comments. If you can think of some novel ideas, hit me up in the comments below. What can I use this for besides ghost hunting or maybe tracking down Electro Boom? Let me know. Cheers and see you guys in the next video. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on